Hi everyone, it's Jeff Webb here. Um, you know Clean Easy is a fantastic business, but it's so much more than about delivering and collecting catalogues and building a great customer base. To me, it's about having the opportunity to buy your life back. Let me explain. When you start your business, it's you. It's you and you're on your own and you're out there. But this is a business of sponsorship. It's about sharing the opportunity and it's about introducing it to other people and bringing people into your team that you can coach and you can look after and helping them to develop their own financial independence. Now, when you're on your own, you might be a bit daunted at the start about how you're gonna do this. But remember, although you're in business for yourself, you're certainly not by yourself. You'll have a sponsor and you'll have an entire upline there to coach you and to work with you. So with the help of your sponsor, let's supposing we go out and we introduce just two people to the opportunity. That's two people that you can coach to deliver and collect catalogs, maybe personally present, use their online shop and start to generate retail turnover. Now let's use that too as a multiplying factor. What I mean by that is if you've sponsored two and you then teach your two to find two, you will have four people on your second level. And you know what, this business, if it has a tag, it's certainly not selling, the catalogs do the selling. It's a teaching business, or as I prefer to call it, a coaching business. So you've taught your two to find two, which has given you four on your second level. Now let's teach those four people to go and find two people each. So you'll have eight. We teach those eight to find two, you'll have 16. We teach those 16 to find two, and on your fifth level, you will have 32 distributors. Now, if you add those all together, that's you, plus two, plus four, plus eight, plus 16, plus 32, you will now have a team of 63 distributors. Remember, they're all delivering and collecting their own catalogs in their own area. They're all processing their own orders. They're all earning their own retail profit, and Clean Easy are paying them whatever bonuses they're entitled to. But you, of course, will be paid your override on what your entire team produces. And that's why it's really important to make sure you coach your team well and give them the right information. Now let's have a look at another example. Here's you again, you start off in your business and with the help of your sponsor, instead of finding two, you go and you find three people. That's three people that you can work with who are open-minded, positive, and that you can work with to help them grow their business. And this time, let's use three as the multiplier. So if you teach three people to find three each, you'll have nine on your second level. If we teach those nine to find three, you'll have 27. If we teach 27 to find three, you'll have 81. And if you teach 81 to find three, you'll have 243. Let's add all of those distributors together you've now got 364 people in your business. Now, which business would you prefer? That's a rhetorical question, of course. But what's the difference? What's the difference between business one and business two? You might look at it and say, well, the difference is 301. It's a, it's a business that's got 364 instead of 63, so I've got 301 more people. Well, that would be correct, but you know what the real difference is? The real difference is just one. It's the difference between you finding two and teaching two, or finding three and teaching three. And that's the power of duplication. Now then, let's have a look at what we teach in, in our business and the way that the Clean Easy Pay Plan is structured. Here's you, and with the help of your sponsor, you go and you find five. I'm talking here about five good people who can see the opportunity and want to make a difference in their life. And now we'll use five as the multiplying factor. So if we teach five people to find five each, that's 25 new distributors. If we teach those 25 to find five, you've got 125. We teach them to find five, you've got 625. We teach them to find five, you've got 3,125 on your fifth level. And that gives you a business of 3,906 distributors. Now, who would like a business like that? And remember, you're only looking after your five. You're coaching them and teaching them each to look after their five and so on down the line. I hope that all makes sense so far. Here's where it gets interesting. 
Let's remember that 3906. You understand how we got there by the 5 by 5 principle. Let's suppose it took you 10 years to build that organization. You know you've got a, you've got a life going on, it doesn't go on hold just before you, because you found clean easy. But let's suppose in your spare time, and you can do this alongside your full time job, Fiona and I uh, have done that in the past before we, we gave it up. You can build a team in 10 years, giving up your TV time in an evening and some spare time on a weekend. Now then, that team of 3,906 are going to be putting in varying amounts of time, but I want to keep this presentation really, really realistic. You'll have people in your business who go full time, you'll have people who put in 15, 20 hours a week, and you'll have people who put in 10 hours a week. So let's take the lowest common denominator there of 10 hours a week. Let's suppose in your entire team of 3,906 just give 10 hours a week to their clean easy business. You know what that means? 10 hours a week times 3,906 people, that's 39,060 hours are going into your business every single week. And that's something you couldn't do yourself. Now you'll begin to understand that saying, I'd rather have 1% of the time of 100 people than 100% of my own time. Let's just now have a look at the job marketplace. Any of you out there have got a full-time job or you know people who've got a full-time job. Oh, by the way, I should explain, um, we take job to stand for just over broke because that's where a lot of people are with their full-time jobs. There's just a little bit of money left over at the end of the month and often that's not very much. So what are people working in this modern age in a job? Well, let's supposing somebody full-time is working 40 hours a week. I think you'd agree with me that if we take commuting time and if somebody's in a management position, they're probably working an awful lot more than 40 hours. But I think 40 hours is something we can all accept as a reasonable figure. How many weeks a year is somebody going to do that? Well, let's take out annual leave. Let's suppose somebody has four weeks holiday. That means they're going to work 40 hours a week for 48 weeks a year. And the total of that means that somebody with a full-time job on average is working 1920 hours a year that is exchanging 1920 hours of your time for a boss for a company and usually for a predetermined amount of money now here's what they don't teach in school how many years is somebody going to spend doing that well let's supposing someone's fortunate enough not to get made redundant and end up on the scrap heap Let's suppose they, they have a job and they work from the day they leave full-time education until the day they retire. How many years is that going to be? Well, we talk about a 45-year plan. The scenario being someone leaves full-time education age 20, by the age of 65 they're going to retire. And yet I know what you're thinking, hang on a minute, that retirement age is going up all the time, isn't it? And we're going to see people working many, many more years than 45. But for the illustration, let's take that. If we take 1,920 hours a year times 45 years, that means in a lifetime, somebody in a full-time job is going to exchange 86,000 hours of their life for their boss to retire wealthy with a fabulous pension, with investments, with property portfolios, or, hey, is that not the case? No, it's not. Most people at retirement are retiring on one third of their full-time income and how somebody expects to survive at that rate I really don't know. So let's just look at those numbers. Let's divide 86,000 hours of someone's full-time lifetime work by the 39,060 hours that are being put into your clean easy business by the team that you've built what that means is the answer is 2.2. What does that 2.2 represent? It represents this. It says that by building your business five by five in just a few years, once you've got that built, every 2.2 weeks, you buy back an entire lifetime's work. And that's network marketing.